Welcome back. I'm here with the legendary Morris Day in the Times. Show us some love. Let's first and foremost, let's get the introductions out the way, starting with Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean Johnson, uh, Minneapolis. Jesse Johnson, Minneapolis. Monty Moyer from Minneapolis. Terry Lewis, Minneapolis. Jerome Benton, Minneapolis. Morris Day, Minneapolis by way of Springfield, Illinois. In the house, man. Yeah. First and foremost, <laughs> the time is in the house, man. I cannot tell you how excited I am, of course. Mo, with you working us here with the show, man. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. Had a chance to see you guys on the Grammy. Did you all see them on the Grammy throwing down? Yeah. That must have been a great experience getting together again. What was that like, Mo? Well, it was nice because we thought we wanted to get back out there in a small venue and get it started back up, and we just happened to do it in front of 65 million people on the Grammy, so it was, a, it was great, man. It was great. Jelly. Jelly. Yeah, you did that, man. You guys have a great one. See, they're, right now they're calm. What'd you, what'd you call uh, Jelly Bean in the back a second ago when we found out he was a Scorpio? Oh, you know, you know, that red, you know, look like crushed velvet couch back there. <laughs> 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 You think about all the songs, the Jungle Love, the Gigolos, Get Lonely Too, the Bird, the Whole Nine. I know you all came out of that Prince experience. How did this whole thing get started, Morris? Well, the whole thing started really with uh, two local bands in Minneapolis. One was Grand Central and the other was Flight Time. Flight Time was Terry, Jimmy, Jelly Bean, and Monty. And uh, the um, Grand Central was me, Prince, and, and a few uh, of our friends. So we ended up uh, merging the two best bands in Minneapolis together. And we went to Rock Island, Illinois, and heard about this brother who did 30-minute guitar solos with, by himself on stage. I wonder who that could have been. <laughs> and we said, we said, that's the man for the gig. So that's really how it all came together. How did they approach you, Jesse? You remember when they came down there? What, what was that experience like? Who came to see you? Actually, I met Morris. It was, yeah. uh, it was a, I was playing in this biker bar, and uh, it, was jam, <laughs> <laughs> it was jam night. And I met Morris, and he said, man, you need to come to Minneapolis. And uh, so I came up to Minneapolis a, a few weeks later, and uh, Morris, I was there for about maybe three days, and Morris left the band that I came up to join. <laughs> left with Prince, you know, took off with Prince, but he introduced me to Prince, and and um, I, I, was, I, I had my guitar and all that, and I said, you want me to play? And Prince just looked at me and said, no, nah, he got the job. Just like that. Yep. Yeah. It was Jelly happening. Bean, you've been when this whole thing started. What's this been like for you? You've been back there holding down the skins, man, for all these years. What's the experience been like for you all these years, man? It's been great. I mean, these guys are my friends, you know, way from way back, even back playing sports, going to high school. Bean, me, tell, tell them how me, far we go back. We go back since we were 12. We used to line our drum sets up wow. in this mom's bedroom. That's I mean, not, way back. Uh, living room. We're, uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, mom. Was it 12? We were 12. <laughs> to 12. <laughs> What'd you call them? Sex what? Sex on that. Sex on that. <laughs> As you can see, I take a lot of grief around here. Yes, you do. Yeah. You know, something that you all may not know. Let me share this with the entire audience. This is the first time in 18 years they've appeared on television. They did it on Bays and at the Dog. So show them some love for that. That's, that's huge. 